Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nine Volt Games, and uh, today I'm doing a re requested review. Actually, this is uh, dude, really gonna be that loud? This is from the Lube Show. Yes, that's his name. L L <laughs> L O O B. Say Joe W. Uh, I got disconnected from Xbox Live. Why come? Probably need to update. Anyways, the uh, the Lube Show there <laughs> wanted me to do a review for Halo Three. Now, a lot of you might be like, well, Halo 3, I mean, you know, you've had ODST come out between that, you've had Reach, why Halo 3? And, you know, I really thought about it, and um, any of you who've actually played a game night with us, you know that we actually prefer to play Halo 3 over anything. And uh, that's, that's, what, that's why I definitely thought about doing this review. So here you go, Loop Show, here's your review. Halo 3 came out, I took two weeks off of work. Actually, I quit my job at the restaurant, and I'm... Um, Halo 3, I could actually say that Halo 3 changed my life. <laughs> Halo 3 came out like a week, three days before Halo 3 came out. I walked out of my job, I worked at a restaurant, um, it was a rush, I was fucking frustrated. Yes, Reach is already here. You are way off. I was really excited, um, <laughs> I mean, I was upset, pissed off, because any of you who work in restaurants know that it's probably the worst fucking type of anger-inducing job you can ever have, and, uh... One Saturday, I went on break. I had a half hour. The boss told me to get punched back in to get to work at 15 minutes in. I said, oh, yeah, watch this shit. I took off. I left and never came back. And then uh, I got Halo. I had money backed up, so I took a couple weeks off. And then all of a sudden, they did a job. So I ended up getting a job. What I do now, after going through rigorous training, and now I inspect airplane engines. So thanks, Bungie. Thanks, Halo 3. Um, you guys secured my future. I bought a fucking house because of Halo 3. How's that? Is that for review? I bought a house, I got married, and I got a kid on the way because of Halo 3. <laughs> um, as for the actual gameplay of Halo 3, <laughs> Halo 3, um, I'm going to tell you what, I panned it as kind of rip-off when it first came out. Um, everyone at my work was actually kind of like, eh, Halo 3, you know what it is? It's really just Halo 2. It's really just Halo 2. But it's a better looking version of Halo 2. Now, I played so much goddamn Halo 3, it is ridiculous. And the thing is, is that you'll make fun of Halo and you'll be like, oh, it is overhyped. And it, don't get me wrong, Halo is a, uh, it's a completely overhyped series, you know what I mean? Um, but the more we think about it and the more we talk about it at work, it'll be like, oh man, remember when we were playing, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> shoddy snipers on narrows? And then we'll start talking about it and then all of a sudden, everyone at my work gets together and it's like, great, Halo night, Saturday night, boom. And, uh... I think that's what makes Halo so great, you know, it's Halo actually brings people together, whereas something like Call of Duty, I know I normally bash Call of Duty, I'm not. Call of Duty is, is obviously a multiplayer phenomenon that has completely uprooted and, and destroyed Halo, sales-wise. So, hats off to you for that. Um, Call of Duty is just a multiplayer game, though. Call of Duty actually forces people away from each other. I know people are going to be like, what well, those clans and blah, blah, blah. Yes, but... Um, they haven't seen more of any trash talking in any game than in Call of Duty, and uh, eh, it might just because the bandwagoners they switched over, you know. So if you go on Halo Three now, you're gonna actually get pretty friendly matches. There's still a lot of people that play on Halo Three, um, and most of the people there are adults like us, and they're you know respectable. They won't call you a faggot every ten seconds, which I can't stand. Um, I know I just said it, but it's <laughs> I was making an example. We don't gay bash here, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna edit that. But anyways, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna play any of it. I don't want to get into a match because it'll take too long, so I'll get excited, I'll get lost, forget that I'm recording. I actually want to, <laughs> I've always wanted to put this up, and I'm gonna. I have on my file share. Which one? Flag Stealing 101. That was a good one, but it's too long. Let's do this. Grenade lift. I love this one because what I did is I was I was still an elite character. I jumped backwards, tossed a grenade on the ground to a dude who was coming up in a grav lift, and the grenade went under his asshole and blew him up and killed him. And it was just fucking hilarious. So let's let's play that one. Oh, I want to play. What uh what happened? There you go. <laughs> Grenade lift. Really quick, 
five second film. I'll play it a couple times, explain what's exactly going on. The best part is that the guy who the grenade I uh, put up his ass was, his name was Nut Vegas, which I thought was funny because it was like, <laughs> Nightmare Games killed Nut Vegas. Fucking hilarious. All right. Let's get this going. Let's see. Now remember, I'm the elite. Obviously, the one throwing the grenade, jumping while throwing it. Here we go. <laughs> it never gets old. Uh, one more time. Ah, uh, right up the ass. It's good stuff. Um, I got another one I'll show. Flag stealing one on one. I played Valhalla with a full team, both sides, full team. Um, I did horrible in that game. That was when Halo first came out, by the way. Uh, flag stealing 101. I walked around the entire map while everybody was fighting in the middle. <laughs> Went around to the other people's base, stole the map, and came back halfway and believe I, I jumped on a warthog and they just brought me to victory. It was the cleanest flag steal I've ever gotten in any game that has a, a capture the flag. Oh my. I haven't watched this one in a long time. I haven't watched any of these in a long time. We've actually been trying to make new ones, but with my work the way it is, you know. Let's see. There we go. It's a minute 55, so. No, just play. There we go. I knew I dropped it at some point because I was like, I don't remember carrying that thing around. I just remember going around. Here, I'm all fighting over here. I remember this. <laughs> Minimal involvement. That is what I'm talking about, people. This person was beeping at me the whole time. I like that. In a way to victory. <laughs> Jumped out a little early, but that's okay. So that shit was great. I love that. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff I like. And like I said, man, it's one of those games that like you'll forget about for a long time. And if someone will even say Halo in passing, you'll be like, play that game's played out. And then all of a sudden you get to talking to people about it that you've actually played with in the past, and you'll be like, you know what? Halo 3 was a really fucking good game. I absolutely love that game. In fact, to the loop show. If you actually want to play Halo 3 with us, you know, we are we are down to play. Um, it'll have to be after PAX because up until then we're we're busy working 70, 80 hour weeks right now. Plus I'm still in school, so college, not high school. Obviously, you can tell I'm not in high school. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Halo 3, I mean, if you don't got it, go out and get it. Halo 3 is a shit. Um, if you don't want to get Halo 3, obviously, if you don't want to spend $3, um, you can spend probably seven dollars, get Halo ODST, so you can get that single player campaign, and then Halo ODST comes with the uh, Halo Three multiplayer only disc um, with a couple of the expansions, and uh, it's totally worth it. In fact, when we started doing the community night, I suggested people go out to get Halo ODST, like Dan went out and got ODST, and uh, it's just fun to do. You know, I think actually our next community game night when we all get back together, I said it was going to be Kill Zone, but I think I'm going to switch it around and go back to Halo Three again because it's so much fun. So, 
Halo 3, if you don't got it, uh, you're probably not a gamer, or you don't own an Xbox, or you don't own an Xbox, you're not an Xbox person, that's okay. Um, but yeah, if you have an Xbox and you haven't played Halo 3, you should probably go uh, fuck yourself. Thank you guys for watching.